Hello, viewers and listeners of Tech Point Zone. Today's video is going to be on a washing machine water problem. It's actually going to be a two in one video. Water problem, meaning water is not getting into this machine as fast as possible. It's very, very slow, meaning something is blocked along the line. Then, secondly, washing machine staining your clothes during or after wash so most of the time it is not during the washing cycle of the um, washing machine most of the time it happens during the rinsing cycle of the washing machine so i'm going to go through how we'll be checking and also how to close up on what is causing one or two of the issues i've uh, mentioned so the first thing for us is to make sure that you remove the plug of the washing machine from the source as with any electrical equipment you are trying to work on so the second thing is i'm going to show you how i unscrewed and i opened the top of this washing machine so as you can see, I've moved it away from the wall so that I can have enough room to do what I want to do here. Now, the first thing is uh, to disconnect uh, this uh, water hose. So this one comes from the backup water plant, which is from the um, backup uh, reservoir. And the one that comes from the mains is this, connected all the way to this pipe. So if you haven't seen the video where I did how I was able to work out this backup water channel for this washing machine, you can check it in the link description above where this suction pump, which is a diaphragm pump, takes water from this reservoir and feeds it into this machine. So you can check out that video in the link above. So the next thing after removing this is to check this part of the washing machine at the back. There are two screws that are holding this top tray to the machine. So let me pause this video while I get the screwdriver. Okay, back here now. Um, I've already loosened up this screw so that uh, will not, I won't take your time in this video. So I'm just going to pull them up with my hand. doesn't require much because I already unscrewed them so these two screws are the ones holding this top tray to the machine at the back so after removing those two screws can come all the way to the top here and slightly push back the tray so after pushing it back then you can lift it up just regulate a bit. Okay, so regulate a bit, and now it is out. So put it somewhere safe. Okay, so back to the washing machine now. So as you can see, this is the point through which water comes into the machine. This is a water gate uh, electronically controlled by the washing machine uh, computer. And these are the two holes feeding the water tray which goes into the washing machine. So now from the front here, as you can see, I've removed the soap compartment, which is this. So looking into the soap compartment, you can see how dirty it is. So this is due to long use of soap and uh you, you have to be washing this uh once in a while so next thing is to remove the hose i've already used the plier to move this clip also this spring clip backwards so now i'm removing the hose the two holes feeding this water channel to the machine then also this is the uh, feedback of the water from the water channel to the machine so I'm going to bring this out now so that you can see 
while trying to remove this you're going to have to slide it a little backwards if you don't you might end up breaking something just slide it a little backward and pull it to your, to your right then uh, before trying to remove this water channel and the soap compartment you also have to pay attention to these two screws so as you can see i've already loosened the two screws so after removing those screws so you can just pull this out by sliding it backwards and pulling it to the right so the housing for the soap compartment is out now this is what you have and this is the rear view so this is how it sits and the soap compartment goes in just like a drawer So next thing I'm going to do is to open this soap compartment so that you can see what's really inside and how dead it is. To open it, you just need to slightly pull up all these spring clips. You pull it up, then you push it up so that you can open it. So this has been opened and if you look closely, look at what we have in, inside. And also check what we have inside this so all these are responsible for the stains that you see on your clothes during rinsing by the machine look at this also it's also a little bit dirty i'm going to wash this also one other part you have to pay attention to is this hose which feeds water from the water tree into the washing chamber of this washing machine and as you can see it also has a lot of dirt in there so we are going to also take care of that next thing we are going to be doing is to try and remove the water gate so as you can see he has a, a screw head and also a bolt head so you can get a star screwdriver or a size 8 socket uh, spanner so i have unscrewed this using this star head screwdriver and now removing the two bolts so we are left with the water gates now so with these two bolts out of the way next thing we are going to be doing is to come in here and remove these two socket connections then we have our water gates out of the machine so what you are looking at in it is the initial filter before the next filter which is the inner filter so now i've been able to use a plier to wriggle this out of the way so this is the initial filter as you can see still looks clean but looking closely inside looking closely inside you can see that the inside of these is very very dirty trying to get a very good view so they can see so you can see that's meant to be a filter but you can see it is totally packed up with dirt so this is what is very likely inhibiting the flow of water into the uh, washing machine and then these are the ones things responsible for those stains that you normally get on your wash clothes so what we are going to do is we'll remove this inner filter clean it we'll clean this hose that fits into the washing chamber then also clean this and clean this after which everything will be coupled back then we'll test so I'm still here trying to see a way I can remove this. It's a little stuck. So I decided to get uh, one uh, dental de uh, device that I'm going to try and use in pulling it out. I'm going to show it to you now. Okay, so this is what I've been able to get. And uh, if you don't have this, you can just look for anything, maybe a pin and bend it in a shape almost similar to that of a hook. So that once you 
put it in you'll be able to use it to hook it and be careful when you are doing that so that you don't damage that filter so here's the filter you can see how dirty it is it is totally blocked so this is what is inhibiting the flow of water into the washing machine so we're going to wash this after washing it they will come back so that i can see how clean it's meant to be again this is it the inner filter which is so badly blocked so after a thorough wash using an old toothbrush this is what we have now so i'm going to put this back then wash every other thing couple it and uh, i'll probably make a another video for that or better still just couple everything and just show you what the final result looks like